Hello guys, welcome back to another gaming video, and today I will be answering a very common question in the Gorilla Tag community and in my comment section, and that's how to get mods on Gorilla Tag. So today I will be showing you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do so. This tutorial is so simple that you will literally only have to pause the video. I will not be making any cuts where I leave out things I do. You will see every little thing I do, so you get it perfectly down and you can get mods. So. Uh, I really hope this helps you guys out because I know it took me a very long time to find a working tutorial. And if this does work for you, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment if it worked. But let's see happen. Let's just get straight into the tutorial. Now, let's say you just bought Gorilla Tag or you already have Gorilla Tag on Steam. You're gonna open Steam and you're gonna come to your library and then Gorilla Tag. And you're gonna head over here to this little symbol. You're gonna click it, then manage, and then browse local files. Now you're going to click all the way up and you're going to delete. Now you're going to go to your desktop, Steam, head down, Steam Apps, Common, and Grill Tag, and you're going to delete that folder. And don't worry, your cosmetics are still saved. Like your account did not get deleted. Now you're going to right click on Gorilla Tag, go to Manage again, and then Uninstall. Now you're going to reinstall it. Install. Now let's wait. Now the Gorilla Tag finished downloading, we're going to head to our browser. All of these will be linked in the description. First things first, we're going to go to BetlinX and we're going to download BetlinX Windows X64. Do not get anything else. Get this. Download. Oh. There we go, first thing. Now we're getting Utila. These are all essential to help different mods run, because some mods uh, require some and some don't, but this just helps if you are trying to get multiple mods. Now we're getting the camera. This is what I recommend. Do not worry, this is a false positive. Keep. And if you go down to the Discord server in the description, which is mine, head to II Stupid Menu, and download. There are more than one download. There are more than one mods in here. See, this is also a false negative or false positive because this is my own Discord. Now we're going to head over to our downloads. Now we're going to right click on any of them that have the zip. Now we're going to click extract all. Extract. Now any of them that have the zip and you extract them, there will be a new folder. So you can just delete the old one that hasn't been uh, extracted. Now we're going to do the same for Bep Inject, Newton Jason, and Utila. So let's just do that real quick. Extract all. Delete. Extract all. And extract all. Now we are done, we have Bep Inject, or Bep, Bep on X. Bep Inject, Tutila, and Newton Jason. So, first things first, we're going to double click on Bep on X. Now we're gonna click and drag. Now we're gonna copy. Now we're gonna go to Desktop, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Gorilla Tag, and we are going to paste that in there. Now, for our next step, we are going to double click on BetplanX. Now you're in here, you'll see core, nothing else. Now you're gonna right click, new, then folder. Now we're gonna name this plugins. And you don't have to do this, but this makes modding a lot easier. You're gonna right click and then pin to quick access. So you can just drag from your downloads any mods you have, which is what we're gonna do. Now we're going to drag in Bep Inject to our plugins, Newton Soft Jason, and Utila, as well as the menu, and Yizzy's Camera Mod. Now if we go into our plugins, you'll see this, and that's all you need. Uh, you really need, these are the three main um, mods or things that help run mods. Now, here's how to know if your mods are working. You just click play on Gorilla Tag. You don't even need your headset for this. And the first thing that you will know if your mods works is if you also got eye eyes. 
uh, as well as the camera mod, you'll see that you are not in third person mode. And if you actually click shift tab, you will have options to mess around with camera, like free cam, which is how you can also get a lot of good shots for your YouTube channel if you are making videos. Now, Gorilla's Hat Guys just loaded up. As you can see, I, I, stupid menu. Now, if we click and then shift tab, here we go. And as you can see, I, I stupid menu worked. And there we go. That's how you can get mods in Gorilla Tag. Let me just close this out. Don't worry, it automatically opens up I, I, stupid menu Discord when you load the game with it. But yeah, uh, I really hope this helps some of you guys because I know for a fact when I first started trying to mod, it took me a very long time to find an actual working tutorial because Monkey Mod Manager did not work for me. So I really hope this helps some of you guys, but definitely if this actually worked for you guys, please make sure to like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the summer. I really think we can actually hit that because of the support you show my channel lately. But yeah, look forward to more tutorials on modding in Gorilla Tag, such as Gorilla shirts, uh, like custom shirts, custom maps, custom faces, just a bunch of other mods that take more than one step instead of just downloading a DLL and putting it in your plugins. Uh, but yeah, I do very simple tutorials, expect more. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can hit 10,000 subs. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.